Hey, what's going on, guys? So, some of you all suggested that I should compare Kingdom Come Deliverance Cry Engine to Unreal Engine 4, so we're doing that right now. And it took me a little bit because I actually had to play the game a little bit because I couldn't get out of the stinking castle. So, I'm actually able to come out, and I did a couple of cheat codes like Operation Seawall just so I can see the whole map. So, we have here the Kingdom Come's Deliverance, and it has HD textures and ultra high 4K two times it's insane I'm running really low fps but we're going to be comparing this to the quixel mega scan medieval because that's what you guys wanted to see this compared with oh my god was that a screen tear oh somebody just went through me i guess so we'll take a look at the village and then we will take a look at the uh the actual wait i need to talk to you we're going to take a look at the um the woods as well how can i Okay, I pulled it away. Alright. So here we go. Looks like we're getting 58 frames per second. Now this game for a 2018, again, good good recommendation. This is a, this is actually really impressive. And it's quite big, to be honest. If I press M here, it's pretty big. Look at this. I mean, it's not open world. I wouldn't consider this open world. But it's it's up there. And you can additionally get some mods... To make it more realistic. But I'm just kind of using this bare bones right here. Looks like it's the same situation. The mesh are just moving. But that's okay. It is a big map. I did turn off um, motion blur for you guys. Yeah, not bad. This is this is pretty good. I guess CryEngine is up there. What is CryEngine working on right now? I'm just curious. Because after you guys... um. I've never played... That dog is scary looking. I've never played any of CryEngine games. And after you guys suggested for me to check these out and compare it to Unreal Engine 4. I mean, yeah. Good recommendation. That 50 frames per second right now. 4K. 3090 is doing a pretty good job here. And that's just my character kind of wobbling around. Pretty good. This is nice. Although, I don't know, the story was kind of kind of cheesy. Also, this game is really dark. And I think it's because they have an auto exposure. See, if you look right here, I mean, most games do have auto exposure, but it gets pretty dark, especially at night. Like the beginning scene, it was so dark. I had to turn up my brightness. So I'm doing this in broad daylight so y'all can see better. All right, at 49 FPS, 52. Pretty nice. What's up, bro? Looks like he's at LOD, LOD four, which is not too bad. All right, so let's go check out the woods. Is this pretty? Let's look at the trees. It's pretty sharp too. I, I feel like it's over sharpened. I think. When it's maxed out like this. But it is really optimized. To be honest. This is running really nice. Okay, so 48 frames per second. Got some GPU stats up there. GPU is using 68. No, that's that's my temp, 68. Using 99% right now. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Not bad for a three-year-old game. Are they making a part two in this game? I mean, I like I said, I didn't really like the game itself, but just curious to see if they're going to up this even more, you know? All right, we got tree bark right there. Looks good. It's just crazy because the more I look at these games and the more I mess around with a real engine for, like grass. Grass is super expensive, you know? Just stuff like that I start to think about now. And it's starting to really appreciate what these artists are doing. That tree bark's not too bad. Okay. There's so not a lot of rocks. That's kind of one thing I notice here. Alright, I'm dipping to like 50. I do have V-Sync on. Just keep this a little bit smooth because I think with it off I tried it. 
It was not happening, man. Not at 4K. It's pretty. Okay. There is a little place I want to check out right here. Where is that? All right, so what I'm going to do is... Okay, so we discovered the woods. I'm going to go ahead and speed over there. Because what I want is that there is a little windmill there that I want to check out. Because the medieval map we're going to be taking a look at also has a windmill. And there it is. So let's go here. This looks like Holland or something. Somewhere in Europe. I didn't even pay attention, but this looks good. But yeah, if you guys have any more recommendation on what to compare with Unreal, just let me know. Because I think I'm doing T Witcher 3 and then Exodus, which I have never played that game. Their dialogues are really funny. Like, just like that. Like, are you going to... Nothing, dude. I'm just checking out the windmill. Jeez. Freaking. Alright, so here's the windmill. Looks kind of cool, huh? It's beautiful. And the music is really nice as well. And the audio, as far as the nature sound, it's well done. But yeah, so now that we played this part, I know some of you guys want me to keep these a little bit shorter. Let's go check out Medieval in Unreal Engine 4 that I've been uh, using and making a video off. But this time around, we're going to do it in 4K. What's going on? We are back in Unreal Engine 4, Quick Soul Medieval. But this time around, I removed the blocking volumes. So we're going to be able to walk around a little bit more. Uh, have everything turn to cinematic, so let's go. Let's do this. Alright. 4K. A little bit of screen, screen tearing there. What's going on? Alright, here we go. So let's check out the woods, and then we'll go to the village. Alright. Look at this. This is pretty dense. I mean, they just jam-packed everything. I mean, look at this. A rock going through the tree? Like, really? See, I'm not supposed to go through this. this is, there's a blocking volume here that usually it's not going to let you go through this, but I removed it, all right? So some of the stuff that you're going to see here are probably going to be wild. So, yeah, just I'm just warning you right now. I'm not supposed to be back here. This is supposed to be blocked. So that's, you know, stuff like that. All right, let's go check this out. Yeah, because I, I don't want to just go down that path. I want to explore a little bit more of the woods. And then we'll go to the village. I know I uploaded this in... Uh, I think it was 2K, but this time it's in 4K when I compared it to Resident Evil. See if I can climb here because I don't have a jump. Yeah, okay, there you go, good. So let's go down this path. I just want to check out the woods and then we're allowed to free roam here pretty much. Because there's no more blocking. Beauty. So usually I'm not able to go here. But we can today. I love the displacement on these roads. They look so good. I'm going to compare the same exact environment to Witcher because you guys want to see that. A lot of people in the comment section are like, that looks like Witcher. 
Witcher 4, I think. I've never played Witcher before, but I got the game just to make that comparison. Alright. It's nice. A lot of detail. Quixel Mega Scans, man. Quixel Mega Scans for you. And what's crazy is I think I would get even a better quality if I was to uh, show you guys this in the editor itself. Because this is a repackaged version of the map. So I actually packaged it up into an EXE and then ran it, you know. This is not the editor. Look at that GPU. You know, people say, oh, you know, that 3090 is overkill. Like, dude, it's not. When is that 8090 coming out? Beautiful. And the lighting is well done in this game as well. Alright, we're getting 50 frames per second. 17 ms. It's probably my favorite part of the area right here when it gets dark. Gets really creepy. Alright, let's check it out. Yeah, I wanted you guys to see this in 4K because I know that video I did was only 1440p. So this is 4K goodness right here. That bird is stuck. All right, let's check it. Check it this place out right here. Ooh, 44 frames per second. That is beautiful. All right. Our FPS is going to start dropping here. Let's see if I can get in the fire here. 64 by the fire. Right, let's go check out that windmill. Ooh, 35 frames per second there. What happened? Now oh, I just need some photorealistic knights and characters and we're good here. Look at that. It's nice. Here's that windmill. I hate that sound. Hmm, it's pretty, right? All right. What do you guys think? Who won this thing? See, I'm not supposed to be over here. This is usually blocked, too. Looks like a fog particle. That fire looks really good too. 38 per second. Alright. Let's finish this demo. Yo, that this 3090 is crying right now. Crying. 30 frames per second. Holy shnikes. I can probably cook an egg on this thing right now. What is that? Oh, the sword. Okay, yeah, I saw that in their website. I gotta grab that. It looks really good. Alright, so now that I'm back here and the event started, my FPS dropped a little. Yeah, I'm a 40. I was getting 60s here, but the event kind of did it. All right. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Real Engine 4 versus Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now it's time to take my grip piece off.
So you want to make a movie in Unreal Engine 4 using the new MetaHuman characters, but don't know how to do it. Well, I got the video just for you.